Hey, what is up everyone? TCT here again. And I just got a very special package in the mail. I've been waiting on this one for a long while now. You know, this is uh, actually a pretty special moment. This is, um, I, I'm unboxing my childhood here. Uh, many of you don't know, I grew up in the early 90s. I was born in 1992. And there was a particular show that was king of cartoons uh, for the longest time. And I just ordered a limited edition of this. Uh, they only made a few hundred thousand, so I'm pretty lucky to actually to get this. Just came in the mail. And I figured I'd do this for you guys because I've never done an unboxing video before. So I'd like to show you what this is. Let's go ahead and open it up. And what do we have here? None other than... <laughs> Batman the Animated Series Limited Blu-ray Digital Edition with these pop toys, these collectibles, everything. Here's the back. Check that out. Is that cool or what? Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. I was a big fan of the... The Batman Animated Series and Batman Beyond uh, when I was in elementary school. And it stuck with me throughout my whole life. Look at this. Look at this. Like, this is just a beautiful box. Uh, I want to open it up, but I don't really want to open it up right now. But, yeah, let's, you know what, screw it. You don't want to do this once. <laughs> We're going to check this thing out. I want to see exactly what this is. You can see they got the pop toys. Give you a little type of Adam West Batman right there. Check that out. Is that cool or what? A little Adam West Batman. Then you have Harley Quinn. <laughs> and then the Joker here. With my little bud Harley Quinn and her poor, poor pudding. <laughs> I used to love Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill, to me, is the greatest Joker. Uh, everybody says Heath Ledger. Look, I love Heath Ledger. Don't get me wrong. Mark Hamill is my favorite Joker. He will always be my favorite Joker. Let's open this thing up. Um, I really want to be careful because I'm in the car. <laughs> ah, this is actually pretty good. The pops come a little separately. And what what is this here? Something here. Let's want you guys take a look at this. This type of envelope. Let's take a look. See what it's inside. Oh my God. This is awesome. Guys, look at this. This is so awesome. Look at that. Batman fighting Poison Ivy. That's pretty good. That's, these are collector's cards. What's this one? Ah. Batman trying to get Two-Face. Look at that. This is awesome. This is so good collectors man and it's and it come in a little envelope too i'm i'm really impressed with this i'm definitely going to keep it safe batman swinging i am vengeance i am the knight i am batman <laughs> i love that that's that's one of my favorite lines in all of superheroes <laughs> and the joker and harley quinn against batman <laughs> that's awesome the little hologram, so if you can't quite see that. We got some more here. Oh, Selena Kyle, Catwoman. Check that out. Look at this. This is great. This is so good. And then Mr. Penguin. <laughs> to me, Danny DeVito is the penguin. Although I do love Burgess Meredith. Don't get me wrong. I love Burgess Meredith. And the guy that plays him on Gotham is actually pretty good. I keep forgetting the man, the man's name. I think it's Robin Taylor, um, Robin Lord Taylor. I think I think that's correct. Uh, I actually enjoy him. He he's. I'm not really a huge fan of Gotham, but I enjoy his part on Gotham, even though I don't agree with where the story goes most of the time. His uh, Penguin is actually pretty good. And then here we go, where Batman pushes Joker into the acid right here. Check that out. Look at that. I love it. 
I'm gonna put all these back here and put all these back in. I really want to keep these protected. <laughs> That's sick. And once again, this is how they come. Comes like that. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's very beautiful. Well done, DC. Well done. Very well done, DC. Now let's get into this. It is actually... It feels hard as hell. It's steel. It's a steel. Oh, yes, it's a book. See, it comes like this. Look at that. Look at that. You can see it. It's better that it's, it's a little night outside. And it comes as a book. Check this. Ah, and it comes with some pictures and writing about episodes. And check it. Look at that. I'm going to kind of go through here. Let you guys see what I'm looking at. This is great. This is so good. Look. I'm going to have a good time with this. I, I like to collect things, especially limited edition things like this. Look at Harley. I love Harley Quinn. This show made me love Harley Quinn. Robin and Two-Face. This includes... Uh, the first two seasons of Batman the Animated Series, the new Batman and Robin Adventures, which is considered season three of this series. You get uh, Mask of the Phantasm, which is my favorite um, Batman movie, by the way. I, I absolutely love it. Look, I love the, the live actions, don't get me wrong. To me, Mask of the Phantasm is the best Batman movie uh, in my book because I'm a, such a huge fan of this show. And there's a couple bonus discs, discs here. You can see that. And there it is. Mask of the Phantasm. There it is, right there. I am super excited. I have never watched it on Blu-ray. I have never watched this on Blu-ray. And you also, you get Sub-Zero right there. Sub-Zero. Kind of hard focus. But there it is. You get, that's for the digital copies. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good setup. I actually really like this a lot. They put some time and thought into this to make it, uh, you know, to make it good and presentable, which I can really appreciate DC for doing that. Now, please just get your movies right, man. I actually don't mind Ben Affleck playing Batman. I think he's okay. Uh, as Batman, I kind of do not want to destroy this. So let's go ahead and put that with the disc. There we go. Now we're going to add it back. Definitely this is going to be good. And it goes in the top very easily. Look at that. Yes. Batman the Animated Series. The Deluxe Limited Edition, guys. When he, I'm not going to take the pops out because I kind of want to keep them in the box. But here you go once again on the pops. You basically get kind of an Adam West Batman, a Harley Quinn, and a Joker. And I love the Joker one. The Joker one's already my favorite one but yeah that's basically what comes with it and i love i've always loved this insignia right there especially in that color look at that that looks so good in the dark with my light shining on it. look at that that's beautiful this is this is this is going to be good this is going to be good i've seen most of the episodes i've not seen all of them and i am really excited actually to watch all of the episodes finally it's taken me years. Now, I've watched some of them on Prime, but they never upload them all. They never upload them all. So there we go, the box set. Batman the Animated Series Deluxe Blu-ray and Digital Edition. This was pretty pricey, and it's a limited edition. They only made a few hundred thousand of these, and it was so popular that they had to actually make more, and that's when I ended up getting it. I said, you know what, let me get this. If they ever do an X-Men, a Spider-Man, a Superman please someone let me know because I would love to collect those as well. I love the X-Men one. And um, the Spider-Man one, even though he doesn't throw a punch in there, I've followed that. I watched that every morning before I went to school. This right here, this and Batman Beyond was was mine. This, this is what I would stay up to watch on Cartoon Network. Uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. Fox Kids. It would come. I know it would come on Fox Kids, but I watched it on Cartoon Network because Cartoon Network put a little bit more effort into promoting this. Look at just look at the eyes right here. 
It fades off into the black. Look at that. And he, you can still see him. It's beautiful. But Batman the Animated Series, limited edition. Get yours now.